Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we want to talk about ports and logical interfaces on a NetApp storage. So we talk about the cluster nodes, HA pairs, and actually different networks. Today we want to talk about specifically about ports on the storage. Uh, and uh, I would like to categorize ports on the storage to three different subjects. One physical ports, second virtual ports, and third logical interfaces. If we imagine that you have a storage and imagine that this is your storage, I can draw it even here. This is your storage. So your storage has definitely physical ports, which you can use these physical ports for different methods. And for example, for management network, you can use one of these ports for management network. You can connect uh, this port to a switch for management. And you can use the rest for uh, serving data and for using different purposes. Uh, Ethernet ports can be used directly uh, for the purpose of the data providing. And you can actually group them together in order to have a, uh, a resiliency and avail high availability actually on the ports. But look at this, this picture here, this one. If you look at this one, this is the physical port. And imagine that we want to use this physical port as the connection, the point of, point, point of contact with the, with the users and with the storage. This is our node. This is your storage node. And we have users. For example, this is a server that wants to, to contact to this storage. So we can use this port. You have to keep in mind that we cannot use the physical port for access point or for the point of contact or for assigning any addresses on it. So you cannot use this port. We have to create a logical object on the storage, which we call it lifts or lift or logical interface. And on this lift, which is, we cannot see this object. It's a virtual actually interface. On this lift, you can create an address, which could be address, IP address, or WWPN, whatever address it is. This one is actually the point of contact between your server or your user and your storage. So this, imagine that this has an address. I just wrote an address here. So you should be able to access from your server to this address, which is a logical address. And it's not physically actually present somewhere. You cannot see this one. And this leaf can reside on the physical interface or physical port that you have on your uh, node. So this picture is showing that you have a physical port and you can have multiple logical interfaces on this physical port. Because it's logical, you can create as much as you can and you can assign as much as addresses that you have and it's possible for your environment to these leaves. And you, can, you are actually... Uh, transiting all the data and all the information through this physical port and same for here so you have you're transiting everything to this through this physical port in reality but you are passing it to the logical interface and your server actually talking to the logical interface and the other method is that you can look at this picture here in the second one you can group two or more physical interfaces together in order to create something called interface group. So here I can, for example, group these two parts together and create something called interface group. And we have if GRP or interface group is, uh, this is also, it's a logical thing, we have our physical ports, which we are binding them together. We are just group them and create a logical object again, or a virtual port called interface group. And on top of the interface group, now we can have our lifts. So it's the same scenario. If you compare these together, it's the same scenario. We have port here. We have logical interfaces on top of the port. But in this one, we have two or more than two ports. Combined together, we call it interface group, and then we have our logical interfaces, our lifts on the top of the interface group. 
So this scenario is just for adding uh, a resiliency to the port. Imagine if this port goes down, so we can't serve any data. But if this port goes down here, we can serve data because uh, we have another port. So interface group or LACP configuration or ether channel, there are different terms that people are using for combining ports together. Port groups, different, different uh, terminologies and different vendors. But the idea is the same. So here the important thing is you have to know that you always need the logical interfaces or lifts. You need to create lifts. And the, the point of contact between the servers, between users, between uh, end users to the storage is through the lifts. And lifts are also uh, logical objects. We, we, these are not physical uh, objects that we can see them. So... Uh, the other one that we can use in this scenario is VLANs. If you're not familiar with VLANs, we, I have a separate module related to the VLANs and related to the Network Plus and Network Essential course. And you can go through that course and you will understand what is a VLAN. Uh, but generally, uh, we are just using a VLAN for segmenting our network and for having different broadcast domains. And look at this picture here at the bottom. Uh, as you can see, it's the same thing. If you compare it with the one at the top, it's the same thing. We have just one port, and now we can have multiple VLAN on the top of the port, and then having our lifts on the VLANs. So if you have multiple VLANs in your network, you can have them inside your storage. So your storage is working as a device that it can tag the packets and it can remove the packets. So you can actually trunk a port to the storage, and you can uh, use it as a VLAN tagging. So we'll talk about the VLANs, but I just want to overall tell you that it will support the VLAN tagging and everything related to the VLAN. So uh, it's really good configuration. And the other one is exactly the same thing with the combination of the interface group. So we are adding more poor physical ports together, creating an interface group. And then on the top of the interface group, we have our VLANs and then our lifts. If you compare all of these uh, four pictures together, in all of them we have lifts. We, so you need lifts. And definitely you need a physical port, right? At least one physical port or some physical ports in order to be able to transit the data to the real world. And physical ports, uh, in this slide you can see we have different ports. We, have, we can have for management, we can have for data traffic. And virtual ports here, interface groups, and VLANs are virtual. And logical interfaces, which the one that is necessary, it represents a network access point to a node in a cluster. And uh, a lift can be associated with the physical port, an interface group, and a VLAN. So you can assign actually uh, a lift with different things, right? As you can see in the picture, a physical port, uh, interface group and even a if it's assigned to a VLAN. So these are the terms that you should know about the way that we configure the ports and logical interfaces in a Net NetApp technology. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.